My name is Jordan Popwich. I'm 33 years old. I'm a filmmaker and a video creator in Winnipeg, and uh, my company is JP Media Works. Like, how long have you had this company for? So, I started the company officially in 2013. Um, I started freelancing right after I graduated from Red River College in 2009. So I've been doing this for about 12 years now, um, professionally, and yeah, it's fantastic. Out of all of the things that you face, what has been the biggest achievement, like out of all of the assignments and things that you've had? Um, just last year, we got the chance to, I got the chance to do a web series um, in Vancouver and I was kind of like at the helm of uh, a team of people. Um, I was the DOP for the project, I was the cinematographer. So it was my first opportunity to kind of like lead a team of like a lighting crew and um, a first AC, which is a first assistant camera operator and a second AC. Um, so I felt a little bit, you know, out of my element just because I haven't worked with that many people before and it was a new crew um, and it was a new city. I hadn't been to Vancouver before. But um, it was incredible. It was like, it was a mostly BIPOC um, cast and crew um, for a queer project. Um, I myself identify as uh, queer um, and BIPOC myself, obviously. So it was just nice to be in an environment that we all felt kind of safe um, and like our voices were being heard. And yeah, it was awesome. Pretty much the worst thing that's happened. Um, you know, like hard drives <laughs> failing kind of thing, like losing footage, clients maybe not paying you on time, um, pissing off clients, like that kind of stuff kind of happens when you work for yourself. Like, mm -hmm. so you just have to find a, a way to, to save your work and to back it up and to make sure those things don't happen again and to let your clients um, know all the details ahead of time and make sure that you're communicating properly with them so that you're both on the same page. Um, so it just happens the more you do it, right? What's the riskiest project that you've taken? Only because it was my first time there, but we went, to, we did a documentary shoot in Rwanda, and Rwanda is a very safe country. We, I wasn't concerned about that, but it was my first time kind of traveling with all my gear um, across the world to Africa. So for that reason, I felt a little bit um, just unsure of how things would go, and I, I lugged, you know, most of my gear. So I, I was worried about, you know, customs and things going through and I had to bring a lot of my gear on the plane um, and I, just whether or not it was going to work and not get stolen um, where we were staying at the, at the, at the villa but um, you know we had a great experience everything was the people were fantastic we, we went back twice to shoot we were supposed to go back to finish our third um, shooting session last year but then COVID happened so that documentary is still um, pending but yeah that's, That's interesting. And it was a, kind of a self-financed project too, so that was the riskiest project because we don't, we didn't really have a lot of financial support. It was kind of like fundraising and um, special donors that, that gave us um, the funding to do it, but yeah, it's kind of a leap of faith that we are making this documentary in Rwanda. Like I'd love to just be brought in as like the DP and like everybody else can take care of, of the gear and mm -hmm. stuff like that, but you know. So like what are some of the services that you provide in your company? Um, so it's changed a little bit over time, but right now I specialize in commercial work, um, wedding cinematography, and independent films. So like documentaries, music videos, um, promotional content. Um, for commercials, yeah, it's like a lot of, you know, training videos, um, again, promotional content, short commercials for social media, um, branding videos. Uh, like I'm, I'm comfortable and I'm happy to do what people want me to, like if, if a corporation contacts me um, with a specific request, like I, I, I'm a people pleaser by nature, so I like to figure things out and try to help them as best I can. And if I don't think I'm the best person for the job, then maybe I'll kind of steer them in somebody else's direction. Or if I'm overwhelmed with like too many projects, then I'll, I'll kind of let them deal with somebody else. But yeah, like I, I feel like the best part of working for yourself is the creative freedom and like being and having the control to take on whatever clients that you want. Like, I don't think there's a reason that you have to necessarily stick with, with real estate videos or go solely with wedding cinematography. Like, it's all interesting. Like, it's all, you're all um, 
using the same techniques and, and theories um, for, to implement your vision so it doesn't bother me to do everything. Like I like, and it keeps it interesting. Like I think I would get bored if it was just one thing or the other. And people have said like you should have more of a niche, like you shouldn't try to cater to every market with, or you should try to like have different companies for each different, but like I don't care about that. Like I just want to, I want to produce good work. I, I, I like the variety of work. Um, I don't care so much about branding myself in a certain position or positioning myself in the marketplace. Like it's because it's all been working fine for me. Like I'm, business is still busy um, and I'm happy to take on a lot of different types of projects. So why not? For, for your company, like what is the story? Like how did you come up with it? Like what did you do to get it started? Yeah, right, right after I graduated, I didn't have any sense of what I was gonna do really. Um, I thought I might work for a company um, I was like a personal assistant for an old woman in my mom's building at the time. So yeah, I was kind of at a loss for creative work. Um, but then a former DMV graduate, um, he wound up working in Thompson and he was the cultural coordinator for the city. So he put on different events and shows and stuff. And so he wanted to do promotional content. And so he reached out to me and asked me if I would do like motion graphic videos for you know certain events that were happening. And so from there, I started doing small event videos here and there, and that led to uh, people seeing my work and asking me to do like theater promotional videos. Um, from there, kind of started doing things for malls and weddings and headshots and whatever else, right? So business picked up, and then yeah, 2013, I just started to officially start my company. Um, and I, yeah, I was a sole proprietor, and then I incorporated about four years ago to JP Media Works officially. Um, what is your company's vision and values, and where do you see yourself, you know, from now on? Like, where do you see yourself going? Like, from the get-go, like, I've always, I like doing work that, that matters to people, which is the big reason that I wanted to do the documentary in Rwanda. Um, and the purpose of the documentary was to show the transformation of the country since the genocide, um, and how well the economy is doing. It's the third fastest growing economy in the world. Um, and people have, like, a certain kind of uh, vision of Africa and of Rwanda specifically since the genocide, right? So um, I like doing work that, that challenges people's perceptions or, you know, can make people think a little bit. Um, and I just want to do that on bigger scales, whether that's documentaries, um, shows, movies, um, commercial work. Uh, I like telling people stories and getting people's messages out there. So, and I like doing work that I believe in, that you know, serves a positive, positive purpose. Um, so I just want to keep doing that.